football season is back and GMC gets it started with a road trip to out to Navarro to battle the Bulldogs. Don't go anywhere, you're watching the Burt Williams Show. Coach, there's nothing like opening day of football season. You get to finally get out. Your team gets to hit somebody from an opposing team and get some aggression out. It's a great, great day. Yeah, it is. You know, and we've been looking forward to opening day since we finished, uh, you know, the season last year. Uh, had a great year, undefeated regular season, played for national championship and all. And after going through recruiting, spring ball, the off season and all that, and a long, hot summer, you know, working out, getting ready. We've got a really young team, a lot of new faces, and uh, you know the guys were looking forward to getting on the field and taking on a, a top-notch opponent, which we did in Navarro College. So it was an exciting day and uh, one that we were looking forward to for a good while. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the Burt Williams Show. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. Dr. Stephen Neergarth, Dr. James Eckstein, and nurse practitioner Torrance Drakeford at Oconee Orthopedics provide the Milledgeville area with advanced orthopedic care. Whether you're an athlete, a weekend warrior who tends to overdo it, or just have aching joints, we can help. We specialize in hip and joint replacements, sports medicine, foot, knee, shoulder, elbow, ankle, hand, and pediatric orthopedics. We also treat orthopedic trauma. Put your pain in the past. Call Oconee Orthopedics today. Here comes the Navarro Bulldogs and the GMC Bulldogs taking the field. and We win the toss, elect to take the ball, and uh, going to get started here in some extreme playing conditions. Well, one of the hottest uh, games I've ever been a part of uh, in my coaching career. I uh, had temperatures well above 100 there on the surface, and uh, certainly a challenge for all the participants there. But, you know, coming out, starting the year, giving the ball to Javon Robinson, uh, you know, one of the most decorated uh, players we've ever had uh, coming off a great freshman season, All-American National Offensive Player of the Year, and he comes off and gets a few yards, first two carries. You know, we miss a little bit of block on the outside, come up just short of getting the first down here, open and drive, uh, third and one. Uh, we don't get, missed a block, and I had to come out and punt, but uh, freshman John Moat gets off pretty good kick. and. Have a little bit of breakdown here in coverage. We got to squeeze that with our, uh, our forces on the outside and, and with our inside coverage there. But uh, they get him down and defense comes out. And nice hit right there, filling in. Corey Neely uh, had a great day for us. That's our free safety. Uh, one of the few returning starters we have uh, on the field in, in either side of the ball. But, you know, uh, Navarro's doing a good job coming out here offensively. Uh, you know, really giving uh, some of their skill guys ball in space. They're making good plays. And they get a good long opening drive right here. Just had a tough time getting off the field defensively. And uh, we, they beat us in coverage right there and uh, get a touchdown on their opening drive. And you know, as they're showcasing here, they always have great skill positions and good speed on the outside. Well, they do, you know, and they had a lot of experience returning, uh, you know, on, on their team as as opposed to uh, the, the relative youth that we have right here. So those guys came out and had a good start. And, 
you know, come off on kickoff return. They did a good job keeping the ball high, letting coverage get down there, and you know, did sky kicks most of the day, and, and didn't let our return guys uh, get out there and uh, have an opportunity to make a big play. So smart by them, and you know, coming out, Tyler Herman, freshman quarterback, uh, doing a good job on the roll, getting the ball out in space. Uh, I believe that was Zyrikus Letman, uh, one of our two returning starters on offense, and getting us a first down right there. And, and we come out here throwing a little, what we call the stick play and uh, ended up not getting the first here, so we had to come back out and punt. And again, uh, freshman John Moat hangs one up. A little short this time, but no return. And uh, we give the ball back to and Navarro and their defense has to come out and try to stop them. And then right out here, first play, we get great penetration on the outside, just giving up nothing. I tell you, we're just really proud of the way our guys fought. We didn't always play as well as we wanted to, but the guys just really fought and played hard and, and flied around and just, just proud of the effort that they gave out there. And you know, smart play right here, return man, just letting the ball short kick, bounce up. So we come back out and take the ball on the 20, see if we can get something going on offense. We hand it off right here and he makes a little spin move, gets back to the outside and finishes it off strong as he always does. Well, that's, you know, vintage Javon right there. You know, he's got the speed to, to go long and he's got the power to run over people. And right here we had a little bit of bust. Uh, we had a different play set up. Uh, Tyler should have given the ball to, uh, to uh, Julian Williams there on the speed sweep. But um, again, fresh, first game, some fresh mistakes right there. And now we give up, uh, give up a sack. We didn't get the protection we wanted from our running backs to be able to get the ball out. So uh, we come up, have a bobbled uh, snap, a little bit low, and uh, John uh, doesn't quite get a handle on there, and we give up uh, a block punt to put Navarro in great scoring position. And they come back with this short field and really take advantage of it and catch us kind of sleeping here with a quarterback draw, taking it in for a score. Yeah, got pushed a little wide there on the inside. Uh, you know, with what we were trying to run defensively, it opened up, the quarterback did a nice job for them taking advantage of that miscue and uh, put the ball in the end zone. But, you know, really you got to put that, you know, on our offense and, and special teams, you know, not moving the ball, not uh, doing what we need to do there and then uh, giving up a big play, you know, on the uh, block punt. So, you know, defense, you want to try to get them to hold them to a kick uh, field goal right there, but uh, certainly put them in terrible situation. And, uh, you know, Devera had a good game plan, brought a lot of edge pressure. You can see the guy coming off the end, almost getting Javon there from the backside. But, um, you know, he outran, it, uh, he outran it on this occasion and a nice run up the side, you know, getting uh, another big hunk of his uh, 154 yards on the day. We come back with kind of a jet sweep working on this left side and pick up a few, but you can see the receiver just battling, won't go down. Yeah, you know, I tell you, just uh, again, guys playing hard. We end up uh, coming up a little bit short here, trying to go for a field goal, uh, chip shot field goal, a little bit of a low snap but should have been handled and uh, this is certainly something we do not want the kicker to do right there don't throw it up we have nobody to cover if they end up picking it and taking it down the field but uh, again a special teams miscue you know took three points off the board on what should have been a chip shot field goal and then we have an instance of uh, you know bad tackling right here of course defense uh, was on the field for about 40 snaps this first half as we struggled to get things going and uh, we gave up a long score there and you know, again, right now we're just, uh, we have a, you know, mistake after mistake, first game jitters, call it what you want. Certainly not playing the ball the way we want to play and, uh, you know, we got to find a way to get it back going right. They continue with the short high kicks, keeping it away from our returners and they did a pretty good job on that all day. No, they did. You know, our, our average starting field position was around the 35 yard line almost. So it wasn't like it absolutely killed us, but it did take away the big play potential. And, you can see uh, Javon doing a nice job again, you know, uh, offensive line doing a good job opening up the holes. And, you know, we were having to block against, uh, you know, seven, uh, even eight-man box at times and still uh, to be able to do a good job against that. And then Emmanuel Bird right there, you know, putting him down the middle seam. Nice job, uh, Tyler throwing the ball to him and getting that score. We certainly needed it. And then we go out and we miss the extra point. So. Uh, you know, again, we get a little momentum going, we start doing some good things, and we have another special teams miscue, you know, on the, the kicking operation that, uh, that hurt us. And, you know, right here we got to get under the, uh, the end breaking route, you know, on our inside coverage a little bit late getting there, good throw and catch by Navarro's uh, quarterback and receiver. But, uh, you know, giving them a, a first down, you know, we need to do a good job getting off the field on third down. And uh, we didn't uh, always do what we wanted to do there, but, uh, you know, get the tackle right here. 
and uh, trying to keep them out of the end zone. But once again, they're in there knocking on the door. And we come out and uh, we get rubbed off a little bit there, get outside leverage, and we give up uh, the score. Freshman Trajan Molly right there um, had, a, had a tough uh, tough play there. And then they come up with a little fake uh, off the PAT. And uh, they, they caught a snapping on the edge. So 29-6. Uh, to 6, uh, Certainly, like I said earlier, not the way we wanted to start this half and start the season. But the guys are battling right now, just uh, you know, looking as we go into halftime, calm them down, clear a few things up, you know, offense, defense, special teams, and get back out there and playing football, you know, a lot closer to what we're used to playing at GMC. So uh, we had got some work to do at halftime. And it seemed like they really focused on the outside, running a line of two-man combination rub routes, that was kind of their bread and butter working in the pass game. Well, it was, and you know, get away from our box, which, you know, generally we have pretty good front, you know, D-line and linebackers and all that bring a lot of pressure. So get their skill guys to ball in space and uh, let them make plays, and that was working pretty good for them. You know, defensively, they were looking to really squeeze the edge, which we had a lot of success last year running the stretch, running the outside plays with Javon, and uh, they had a good game plan to try to slow us down with that. So. Uh, couple of tweaks and things we wanted to uh, take advantage of in the second half. And again, we just had to come out and play a lot better 30 minutes. Don't go anywhere. Your second half highlights are up next. Dr. Stephen Neergarth, Dr. James Eckstein, and nurse practitioner Torrance Drakeford at Oconee Orthopedics provide the Milledgeville area with advanced orthopedic care. Whether you're an athlete, a weekend warrior who tends to overdo it, or just have aching joints, we can help. We specialize in hip and joint replacements, sports medicine, foot, knee, shoulder, elbow, ankle, hand, and pediatric orthopedics. We also treat orthopedic trauma. Put your pain in the past. Call Oconee Orthopedics today. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. Your new career starts now with Georgia Military College in Milledgeville. Our intimate learning environment and one-on-one -on -one attention makes your success our singular objective. Available financial aid opportunities make tuition affordable for any budget. Free tutoring and a convenient campus location make GMC in Milledgeville a great place to start your college education. We want to see you at GMC. Apply today. Your journey starts now. It's your future. Start it with Georgia Military College. We're going to come out here trying to turn things around in the first half, in the second half. Uh, we're going to start out on defense with a nice kick here. Nice job, uh, Nick St. Germain. You know, good hang in there. And, uh, you know, we knew their returner didn't like uh, having to field a, a squib or anything off the ground. So good coverage. Kind of took him out of his comfort zone. And defense comes out here, and this is the way we want to start the half. Big play right here coming out, giving us the ball in great field position. Now, and, and this is where we really need to come out here and put a touchdown on the board. Uh, coming out of the gate, you know, take the possession away from Navarro. Big fumble recovery right here. I believe that's uh, Corey Neely getting in there for that. Huge game by him. 
Now we come out and we have a couple of uh, breakdowns. You know, one, we can't take this sack. Uh, we got to get rid of the ball. You know, we, we got to make sure we get open or throw the ball away. So we end up uh, wasting an opportunity to put a touchdown on the board, uh, but we get our field goal unit out there. We have a good kick, and we put points up to, uh, to narrow that gap to start the second half. So not ideal, but certainly a lot better uh, start than uh, – than what we were showing in the first half. Then the kicking team has a little bit of a breakdown right here and gives up a nice return. Yeah, they do. You know, we didn't squeeze again to the ball well enough right there on our coverage lanes. But uh, defense comes out, you know, do a good job. Then we get pressure. Antonia Sims up the middle and, uh, you know, pick up that block and again, give us the ball in great field position. And again, offensively, we got to find a way to come out here and score and uh, what better way to give to the ball. And uh, he rips off a nice run right there, gets us down. First and goal situation, another great run, uh, running through right here and punching it in for a uh, touchdown. Just impressive leg drive and power there to get that ball across the line. And he's, he's getting close to 240 pounds right there, a lot of strength to go with that speed. So, you know, again, chipping away, 29-16. Uh, defense is uh, smelling blood in the water, really doing a good job penetrating, uh, putting pressure on them. You know, we had a uh, penalty on a third down play that hurt us and kept the drive alive for them. And uh, we're letting them get down here uh, close to the uh, close to scoring area again. And, you know, now we're starting to see, we didn't have too many. Only had two guys on the day that ended up having to uh, leave the game due to cramping in that extreme heat. Uh, but, um, you know, defensively, we come out again. The, the penalty that kept the drive alive kind of hurt us. Navarro answers, though, goes down and extends the lead to 36 to 16. Still uh, plenty of time left in the uh, third quarter, but again, great hit, great penetration right there. Um, Kalen Ritchie uh, on a pinch stunt right there, a freshman defensive end, got a chance to be a really good one. Creates that turnover, and uh, you know we're in scoring position once again uh, to come out and uh, try to narrow that lead. Just a nice job there by the cameraman of giving us a good slow-mo footage of that. We come back out, complete a pass here, and 14 gets down inside to five, and we're Really in scoring position. Yeah, we're in great position right there. And, you know, unfortunately, Emmanuel Bird uh, kind of hurt his shoulder right there on the tackle, landed straight on it. Uh, but we come out and uh, run one of our goal line plays right there to Quez Nesbitt and uh, get the touchdown we needed very much right there to narrow that gap. And, uh, again, feeling like we're in position to make some things happen. Again, here's defense once again. Jarvis Jeffries off the edge does a great job securing the tackle and also – separating the ball from the ball carrier. The defense is out there doing their job, getting us the ball back, putting us in scoring position. And we stalled on our drive, puts them coming back down the field here, working that outside again, completing the ball. Yeah, you know, we uh, ended up, went forward on uh, fourth down right there. Didn't get it, uh, had, had a missed execution. But um, again, we kept the field position uh, in an advantageous situation for us. And uh, offensively, we're coming down. You know, we got the ball back after a punt, driving down. Nice throw and catch right there. Zyrikus Letman on the outside. Good job, Tyler Herman. Getting down, you know, once again in scoring range. And we go in there. And we just we got to come up with that catch. You know, and certainly not an easy one uh, on fourth down right there. But we got to come up with that one. Uh, but giving the ball back, short field. Defense need to come out here and, uh, and, and keep them. Uh, from getting the first down and they do the job once again. Just really proud of the way our defense rallied here second half creating turnovers, putting us in great position. So we got first and 10 inside the 15 and Javon does a nice job running with the football here, getting us down close to a touchdown. Then we're gonna come back out here, line up in the full house backfield and just call the quarterback's number and he pops it in. Yeah, I think they just uh, a little bit late getting lined up the way they wanted to. Tyler did a good job taking advantage of it and uh, popping it in for the score. So again, you know, we're working hard just trying to whittle that back. And then we come up and, uh, you know, give up a touchdown here on a, on a busted coverage. We, we saw something on the field, and really we got to take that as a coaching staff. Uh, we saw something, we tried to check the coverage and didn't get it communicated across the board. But uh, we had just cut it to 36-30, you know, in the fourth quarter, about six minutes left. And uh, again, you know, what we wanted to do was the right thing for the right situation, but uh, communication across the board uh, just didn't get there. So, you know, we gave up a score. Had to go for it on fourth down uh, rather than punt away due to time uh, left in the game. And uh, they were able to get a short field touchdown as well to extend it as uh, time expired. And they had another one of our freshmen going to be a really good ball player, uh, Buddha Jackson right there out of Florida. 
really did some good things. Nice return by him, but uh, trying to do a uh, little rollout Hail Mary stuff again as we get towards the end of the game here and uh, give up some protection there at the end um, of the play. And uh, again, just trying to find a way to put a little bit more on the board. And coach, I think, you know, this was a very hard fought game against a good team. Like you said, it's just those critical mistakes at certain times early on in the game that just killed us. Oh, it was, you know, we dug a hole. Um, you know, offense not playing as well as we we're capable of, and uh, you know, special teams miscues, and you know, defense having a little bit of difficulty getting off the field on third down, and you know, we come into the second half, defense is ramped up, creating turnovers, giving us the ball in great field position situations, and we got to put touchdowns on the board. We certainly had the opportunity to take the lead back uh, based on the field position we had, but we, you know, hats off to Navarro. They had a great defense, sophomore heavy defense, and. Uh, you know, they did uh, a good job keeping us out of the end zone on a lot of those opportunities. But, um, you know, we, we've got to be able to take advantage of that, and, and we've got to be able to minimize our mistakes. And to, it, it was really a tough one when we got to 36-30. There's six minutes left in the game. You know, we got a little momentum. You know, and again, you know, as coaches, we got to make sure we're always in the right position. We try to get a check in while the play's getting ready to be run, and again, just didn't get it communicated. And, Really, that's on us giving up that last uh, long touchdown right there. Uh, that, that was kind of a tough one to overcome, you know, with just a few minutes left in the game. But really proud of our guys. You know, they battled, uh, you know, that whole second half supportive of each other. You know, they can see we're going to be a really good team this year. And uh, very young, as we've talked about. Uh, got a lot of guys that got a lot of good experience in that game. And that's going to pay dividends as we go through this season. We'll be right back to wrap things up and talk about next week's matchup. On the final episode of the Pest Control Guys, it's the competition that could win them the biggest contract of their life for Karen Moneybags. You won't believe what happens when we let the guys inside the house. It's three guys up for one contract. Only one can say, I do accept the contract. Next on the Pest Control Guys, sponsored by Bug House Pest Control. Protect your house with Bug House. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. Dr. Stephen Neergarth, Dr. James Eckstein, and nurse practitioner Torrance Drakeford at Oconee Orthopedics provide the Milledgeville area with advanced orthopedic care. Whether you're an athlete, a weekend warrior who tends to overdo it, or just have aching joints, we can help. We specialize in hip and joint replacements, sports medicine, foot, knee, shoulder, elbow, ankle, hand, and pediatric orthopedics. We also treat orthopedic trauma. Put your pain in the past. Call Oconee Orthopedics today. Coach, you return home this week after a long road trip to Texas, but you have another one of those good teams from Texas coming in, Kilgore. We do. You know, it's nice to be playing at home. Don't have the long travel, but uh, you know, we know that Kilgore is going to bring a lot of talent to the field. Uh, you know, all the Texas uh, junior colleges are really going to have a, a good level of talent, and they've got a good returning bunch as well. They've got a real dynamic uh, defensive lineman uh, that'll uh, be a challenge for us, and some big play potential guys on the offensive side. So we got to get out there and we got to play well. Uh, we've got to correct the mistakes we made against Navarro and uh, just be ready to come out and play a better executed, cleaner game. And, uh, you know, I feel like we will. You know, uh, we learned a lot again from the game against Navarro. Um, you know, all our new guys, you know, got a taste of the, of the speed of the game, the intensity and all that comes with it and that adjustment from playing high school ball into college ball. and. Uh, I think uh, we'll see a much cleaner game when we take the field against Kilgore as far as our execution and uh, 
our operation. Well, and you had an open week to clean up a lot of those mistakes and get healthy if there was any injuries. How are we on a health standpoint? Well, we did, uh, you know, we got uh, Birdman back from that shoulder. Um, you know, he's not going to be 100%, but he'll be back on the field for us. And we had a lot of heat-related injury. You know, we didn't lose a lot of guys during the game at Navarro, but we had, uh, you know, nine, ten guys that, whose tanks got emptied, uh, you know, pretty thoroughly in that uh, game at Navarro. So they needed some downtime. So it was fortunate to have that extra time uh, for them to recover and get ready. And, uh, you know, we got uh, we lost one of our starting offensive linemen uh, the week of Navarro, you know, freshman, and who uh, had broken his toe, and he's getting closer to coming back. He uh, looks like he'll be able to get some play uh, on the field against Kilgore this week, get him back in. So, you know, a couple of things are, uh, are improving on that line as we go into this game from where we were going uh, to take the field against Navarro. And it should be a great day to be at the ball game. And if y'all don't know already, we're actually doing an industry appreciation and a huge tailgate kids zone. I know this is something you've been working for, doing something to get the community a little more involved in the home games. How important is this to you and your team? Well, it's it, it's always important to have you know great fan support you know during the game, and you know one of the things we wanted to do is just really generate uh, more community involvement, excitement around you know game day there. Uh, you know we've got a beautiful campus; uh, it's an historic campus. Um, you know, we want to have something for the kids, you know, to bring the whole family out there, let the kids get over there and play in the kids' zone and do that. We've got a tailgate friendly area for people if they want to roll the grills up and right there adjacent to the stadium. So it's going to be very convenient. Uh, you know, uh, the, the Georgia's not playing that Saturday, so all the Georgia <laughs> fans, they need to go tailgate somewhere. So we want to come on into. Uh, to Milledgeville and the Georgia Military College campus and, and be a part of this. So it's just an effort this year. You know, we're doing some new things to try to generate um, more activity, more interest uh, surrounding the game day activities. And uh, we think this will be very well received. We certainly heard a lot of positive feedback from people as we look forward to this home opener. And being able to tie that in with something like an industry appreciation where you're going out and thanking those people in town who are providing jobs and the ones that are taking those jobs. Oh, it, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we try to always, you know, interface with the, with the local businesses and the industry and all that to provide, you know, some entertainment and some activity, you know, for them and their families and all. And then to have them come back and, and support us, you know, in kind as well. So uh, it's going to be a great day. We're, we're excited to have that. And... Uh, we're just looking forward again to a good, clean game, you know, as, as far as our operation and execution. And I think people will be excited to see what we have to offer uh, on Saturday. And the game is Saturday at 1 o'clock, Davenport Field, and all the festivities surrounding it start two hours prior to kickoff. We hope to see you there. You've been watching The Burt Williams Show.